Let's go before the Lord in prayer. Yes. Almighty Father, thank you for the praises. Your mighty praises have given to us here. Ha, tonight, only you know what is going to happen here. Jesus, I can see that your angels are ready. They are combat ready. I can see that Lord divine, the warriors angels are surrounding this camp. They are filled everywhere because tonight is a night of battle. <laughs> tonight is a night of battle. Yes, your church will triumph. Your church will overcome. We shall march Satan under our feet. We shall destroy the works of the devil. Glory to your name. Fill your children with faith. To do mighty works, move the mountain. Dry the Red Sea. And we shall cross safely. Others shall cross safely. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I say amen. I'm talking to you on Christian unity in warfare against demonism in the church. Christian unity in warfare against demonism in the church. In the book of 2 Corinthians, I read chapter 11, verse 13 to 15. 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 13 to 15. For such are false apostles, deceitful workers, transforming themselves into the apostles of Christ. And no marvel, for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. Therefore, it is no great thing if his ministers also be transformed as the ministers of righteousness, whose end shall be according to their works. Here the Bible is making a revelation about the devil that one of the strategies of Satan is to make himself an angel of lies. An angel from heaven. Many people have been called to the Christian ministry by this angel. This satanic angel. Called them to the Christian ministry. Many people have been upheld by this voice. The voice of angel of love. The voice of Satan that has transformed himself as an angel of light. And they are so convinced you cannot tell them another thing. Because they believe it is the voice of God. He appears to them very clearly like a snake that has mastered the voice of wrath. And so as he's making noise. Rat come close to him. So, he is speaking in a voice that you think is God walking with you. God is not. Because the fruit of God is righteousness. The sign that God is involved with you is righteousness and holiness. The sign that you are acting by the Spirit of God. That the word you are receiving, you are hearing, is from God. is godliness. But Satan cannot produce godliness. He can pretend but never be able to produce it. 
His power is only evil continually. So, he has transformed himself. And as a result, he's controlling the ministry. Controlling so many people. He has his own company that he has called. And sent out to the ministry. And they have started churches. They are operating churches. They are manifesting some power, but not of God. Yes, they established Bible schools. God is not there. For such are false apostles. They are great, great ministers. Apostles. Apostles. Great. But they are false. Great. But they are satanic. Great apostles, deceitful workers, that is it. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of himself because he is a liar and the father of it. Talking about Satan. So, these great people, highly placed people, called by Satan, are liars. One thing you can notice in them is lie. Because that's the property of their father. That's the lifestyle of their father. He's a liar. What they tell you is a lie. He is the father of it. And the Bible tells us about these people. Ministers. For such are false apostles, deceitful workers, transformers. They transform. They turn themselves. They pretend to be angel of love. To be apostles of truth. But they are not. They are not. They are not apostles of truth. It's only a technique in the battle. It happens among the politicians. They sponsor people into the other political party to represent them there. They give them enough money to campaign that they want to be this. And wild, great attention. But they are for the other part, opposite party. They are feeding them there. They are teaching them, telling the other party where the strength of this party lies. Who are the strains of this political party? That is it. So, they are in the church, but they are not for God. They are only informants. Informing satanic kingdom. The next plan. Who are the zealous people in the church? Who are the financiers of the church? Who are the evangelists? Who are the prayer warriors? So that they can arrange problem against such ones. And they are very zealous. But transformers. Not original. Not true. And no marvel. For Satan himself is transformed into an angel of lie. And no marvel. That is what Satan does. My people, be careful. Because Satan will give you a ministry, but it's not from God. That's why we told you, if you have this type of corrupt ministry, dissolve it. God, come to the place of life. Why do you want to perish over something that is not succeeding? Why do you want to perish under a law? Under a law. Why do you not come to where the truth is? Why do you want to go on human promotion, self-promotion? Because Satan has given you advertisement. Therefore, it is no good thing if his ministers also be transformed as the ministers of righteousness. They are preachers. And tell you, we are preachers of holiness. We are preachers of righteousness. They have some arts. They have some signs. 
They have some writings that show that God is with them. They have some fabricated testimonies. Fabricated. To show you that God is with them. They have encouraged their members to come up with some false testimonies. They have manipulated the people to, to, to be listening to false testimonies that show that God is among them. It's a lie. It's a lie. God is not there. God is not there. Righteousness is not among them. True righteousness is not practiced. Corruption. 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 Pollution is what you see among them because Satan cannot really be righteous. He is only transforming as a minister of righteousness whose end shall be according to their works. It appears God gives them some kind of permission. It's as if God watches the church to see what the church will do. Will you accept this kind of people? Will you follow them? Will you think that the original preachers that you can give your souls to? God himself is watching. Because if you are of God, you will know God's word. You will discern those people. If you pray, he will tell you. He will tell you. It is not his will that you be in a satanic church. It is not his will that your pastor should be a satanic man. Some of them sacrifice their church members for strength. Sacrifice their church members. I remember when Sister Linda was taken to one of these big churches that is in the city, in the, in the, in the nation, above, outside nation. The Lord took her to this, to the strong room, the room for sacrifice. So, it's a bad thing. How ministers, some corrupt ones, they go to feast there on rusted human beings. And you say, ah, don't you see me? You see me, I am Papa now. But you think, you wonder Papa doing this, talking to the girls, the, the people they kill. You, you see Papa drinking blood? Yes. But come to the outside. Papa is shaking Everywhere I say shaking for God. God is not there. It's a bad thing. But you must be told this because the end has come. God is jealous over you with godly jealousy. Why should Satan be carrying you away from him? Why should you be blinded? Why should the true gospel be deprived you? That is why the Lord in these days is giving out these revelations and causing it to come out. I'm telling you these things. For such a false apostle, deceitful workers, transforming themselves into angel of light. So, there, great, there is great demonism going on in the churches of Christ. Even among the church founders, among the pastors, elders, among the wives of church leaders, among church workers, and church members, many of them are occultic people. Many are witches and wizards. Many have been bewitched. They are in the church, but they are bewitched. They can't, they are not understanding. If our gospel is hid, it is hid to them that are lost. In whom the God of this world has blinded. They blinded the minds of them that believe not. Lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, which is the image of God, who is the image of God, should shine into them. Bewitched. Bewitched by the things they take there. Bewitched by the Holy Communion given to them there. Bewitched by the anointed water, anointed handkerchief, anointed this thing that they rub on their body. Bewitch them. So they are not in their real senses. 
They cannot understand. That is the demonism going on. Yes. Yes. And so, many, if not almost all, are out of turn with God. Many are walking in hypocrisy in the church. So, church growth is being hindered. The church is not growing, but you see people actively praying, actively walking, actively evangelizing. One of such coordinators that has left, the wife was busy in evangelism, sharing trucks, very bold. Take track, take track, take track. People know that. But the Lord said as she is doing so, she is releasing a spirit that is hardening the minds of these people. They will never believe. You won't see anybody coming. You have distributed tracks. Hundreds of them. Thousands of them. But where are the converts? No. They are not for converts to come, but to block them, block them, block them, block them. Zealots. Zealots. But to block everything so that there should be no progress. There should be no growth. Have you not seen children in their families that block prosperity? Father, don't make progress. Mother, don't make progress. All of us sit down like this. That's what they do in the church. The church of Christ. Demonism in top church leaders. Is it in our day? It started long. Look at it in the book of Ezekiel. Demonism in top church leaders. But before we go there, let's look at Matthew chapter 4. Verse 8 to verse 11. The Bible tells us, Again, the devil taketh him up into an exceeding high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world. And the glory of men. And say it unto him. All these things will I give thee. If thou would fall down and worship me. Let, let's join Jesus. To kick him off. Verse 10. One to go. Then said Jesus unto him. Get thee hands Satan. For it is written. Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God. And him only shall thou serve. Then the devil delivered him, and behold, angels came and ministered to him. The devil does not fear going to the topmost people in the church to initiate them into his kingdom. He did not mind trying on Jesus, the Son of God himself. He didn't mind. So why shouldn't he try you? Where did he, he attempt you to get you into witchcraft, to get you initiated, to get you blinded, to bewitch your life? Are you higher? He didn't fear Jesus. He that did not fear Jesus, but went up to the topmost man. How can he fear you? And Jesus stood by God, stood by the word of God, is only by the word. By standing in the world, by practicing the world, by believing in the world, by confessing the world, will you overcome Satan. Otherwise, he will carry you. That's what you need to understand. He offered Jesus worldly honor and wealth, fame and prosperity. If he would accept to join his evil kingdom and be satanically influenced that is what the devil did and so that's what he's offering to the people he has given them wealth he has given them names he has given them great things they are among the great men great people worldwide in, in their ministry in their fame in their fame but to bow before him and they have willingly submitted because they did not maintain righteousness it becomes easy to carry them off 
if a drum of water, if, it's a, if a drum does not contain anything, it is so light that you can kick it and be rolling it to the direction you want. So because they don't contain God's word, they are not in righteousness. They are not practicing this thing. It becomes easy for the devil to roll them to occultism, to roll them to satanism, to roll them to darkness. Yes. That is how it is. You who are empty, they say, read the word. You're not reading. Pray, you're not praying. It's easy to initiate you. It's easy. When I heard of the wife of a great man of God that she was eventually enrolled into witchcraft, I say, wonderful. How did this happen? How did it happen? Did not the devil try Jesus? Did not the devil try Jesus? was not the word of God what delivered Jesus do they keep this word in their lives full of sleep full of complaint busy the family not having time to meet with Jesus not having time to read the scriptures they are wives of great people Satan will just clear them just clear them I'm telling you it's a serious matter it's a serious matter Bela sent after Balaam and said, come unto me. I will promote you with great promotion. Look at it in the book of Numbers chapter 23. I read verse 15 to 17. Numbers 23. Verse 15 to 17. And he said unto Bala, stand here by thy burnt offering. While I meet the Lord yonder. Because Bela has hired him. Bela has hired him. And in Numbers chapter 22. Numbers. Chapter 22 verse 15 to 17. And Bela sent yet again, again princes. More and more honorable than they. And they came to Balaam and said to him, Thus said Bela, the son of Zippor, let nothing, I pray thee, hinder thee from coming unto me, for I will promote thee unto very great honor, and I will do whatsoever thou sayest unto me. Come therefore, I pray thee, curse me this people, I will promote you unto great honor. When the God of Chosen came to Sister Linda. He was telling Sister Linda, stop that message God gave you. I am going to promote you. I'm going to make you great. This is practical. I'm going to make you great. See, this minister, I was the one that made him great. That one day, I made him great. That one day, I made him great. You, just negotiate with me. Negotiate with me. And Sister Linda rejected that. I'm talking about spiritual confrontation. You don't know the battle of eternal life that has been going on for you. She rejected that. And when she rejected that, the, the demon wanted to manipulate her in another way. By looking at her to inject some powers into her. And Jesus spoke and said, See, he is looking at you to inject you, to hypnotize you. Call my name. Hallelujah. And she said, Jesus. The fire fell. The earth opened and he sank into it. I'm telling you, there is power in God. That is what happened. You think the people in church the thing were playing. They think we're looking for any reward. They don't know that we're fighting the battles of eternal life. To get their lives delivered from the devil. It's a great matter. Serious as that. Satanism. Occultism. Not many are strong, strongly built up in Christ. Hence, many willingly bow to Satan. Or are carelessly They are careless and hence are hypnotized or bewitched into satanic kingdom. How many ministers are really praying? Prayer for. How many are prayer for? 
How many, how many seek the face of God in fasting and prayer? How many read the world? How many listen to the world? How many come to conference where the presence of God is? Where the power of God is to be filled with the power? How many do it? So how, how will they not go to satanism? How will they know? That's the matter. Great as that. Great as that. The scripture shows us great leaders of God's people that turned satanic, turned witches and wizards in the house of God. They even operated in the house of God. Yes. Look at it in Ezekiel. Chapter 8, verse 1. Ezekiel chapter 8 from verse 1. The Bible tells us of a call leaders in the house of God that were no cultic. And it came to pass in the sixth year, in the sixth month, in the fifth day of the month, as I sat in my house, and the elders of Judah sat before me, that the hand of the Lord God fell there upon me. Then I, then I beheld, and, and lo, a likeness as the appearance of fire, from the appearance of his loins, even downward fire and from his loins even upward as the appearance of brightness as the color of amber and he put forth the form of an hand and took me by a lock of my head and the spirit lifted me up between the earth and the heaven and brought me in the visions of God to Jerusalem to the door of the inner gate that looketh toward the north where was the seat of the image of jealousy, which provoked to jealousy? Right in the temple, they built a God there. They built a God, a strange God, an image right where God is worshipped. There was that image. It provoked God to jealousy. God called that image image of jealousy hmm. listen you will not know something it's prayer that has been keeping this church at the time the lord revealed that witches and wizards and the marine kingdom were breaking through this church that there was a kind of water flowing from that gate just from the other door just small water coming in the lord said take it take note they are breaking in they are breaking in. Raise a prayer. Because that water you see is marine power. They can sit there. All your preaching will not do them anything. All the preaching you'll be preaching here will not do them anything as long as they have broken through and are sitting there. They'll be controlling things. You don't know when we declare worship. Prayer. <laughs> Fire. Not here. Everybody tell them not here. I said, tell those marine people not here. not here. The Lord already has told you, you understand. You know how he deals with you over there. Because this ministry is different. We're not sleeping here. We are awake. And we will fight with you from generation to generation. Until the rapture. Until the rapture. It is by this way we too will go up. It is by this way many other people will make this rapture. Otherwise, the devil and his agents have made up their minds that people are not going. The Lord said they have finished with other churches and they're turning their eyes to holiness movement. Announce to them, announce to them, I will never permit you in my movement. What you have done in these other places, I watched you and they were not strong enough. They couldn't seek God enough to deliver themselves. And you think you're coming here forever and ever. He shall never walk in this place. In the name of Jesus. By the name of Jesus. By the name of Jesus. Amen. And that is why the Lord is doing what he's doing now. Never you ever think you are wise. You are foolish. For you to think now. The Lord is the one allowing you to climb that tree. Because when you climb high, he will cut it down. You will fall from there. And when you fall, no recovery for you. 
Then you know that God is wiser than you. Is he fool? That allow you, you are becoming stronger, you are becoming stronger. Ah, they know me in which it's wickedness. They know you in which car. With your power, you say, nobody has discovered you. And everybody knows me that I'm righteous. You're fooling yourself. Your day is numbered. Amen. Now, back to the book of Ezekiel. The Lord now took him to see that image. And verse 4. And behold, the glory of God of Israel was there according to the vision that I saw in the plain. Then said he unto me, son of man, lift up thine eyes now the way toward the north so I lifted up my eyes the way toward the north and behold not word at the gate of the altar this image of jealousy in the entry he said further unto me son of man seest thou what they do even the great abominations that the house of Israel committed here that I should go off far from my sanctuary, but turn thee yet again, and thou shalt see greater abominations. These powers, marine power, witchcraft, hath already sent away God from many churches, because by their own work there, they have lived the whole land. They have polluted the whole place and God doesn't have his own so he left the place they have polluted the, even the preacher polluted arrested bewitched for Simon the sorcerer bewitched the whole Samaria so and now he said see what they are doing to, so that I should leave off the, my sanctuary their aim is to stop this work that is going on here. I'm aware. Attention of witchcraft worldwide. Is facing holiness revival movement. Because they feel. We have handled this. We have handled that. We have handled that church. We have handled that man of God. You won't handle this one. You will never do it. Because Jesus. In his gracious work. Has decided to. To, to be here himself. And to be saying that this is my movement. And I also, the international director, have decided not to backslide, not to allow the devil, not to allow witches and wizards. It will never work. Amen. Amen. And uh, the, my wife, Sister Linda, special maid from Sierra Leone, landed in Nigeria. I'm telling you for international oppression, you will not succeed. You will not succeed. The devil will not succeed. Amen. Be served, you who have come for God. They will not succeed over you. You have a captain here that that is is, is the owner of this place, the Lord Himself. The Lord Himself. And He's the one fighting. He's the one doing it so that you will go to heaven. Multitudes are going to heaven. Multitudes are going to heaven. Multitudes are going to heaven. In this place. I'm talking to you because you came thinking you will break through. Because of our simplicity of love. We welcome you in love. And you're thinking where you will find opportunity. You will not find. You will not find. You will not. be very careful. Because as you're coming in, it shall be terrible for you. It shall be terrible for you. In your own day, you will know it. So that is, is a, see what they're doing. To cause my glory to leave the church. To leave the temple. And he brought me to the door of the court. And when I looked, behold, a hole in the wall. Then said it unto me, son of man, dig now in the, in the wall. And when I had digged in the wall, behold, a door deep secret deep secret a wall I dug and yes there was a door in the, in the wall and he said unto me go in and behold the wicked abominations that they do here so I went in and saw and behold every form of creeping thing and abominable beast 
and all the idols of the house of Israel portrayed upon the wall round about. These people are in deep secret doing another thing. That's why I am announcing to you don't have another meeting here. Otherwise, you may go home and start dying. Don't do witchcraft meeting here. This is holiness conference. Let it not be holiness movement witchcraft meeting. My God, don't spare them. Any set of people coming from abroad, any set of people coming from the north, coming from the west, coming from the east, coming from the south, coming from the central, that are coming for witchcraft. Oh Lord, hear our prayer. Consume them. Let the power of God destroy them. Ah! Let the Lord spread the plagues of God upon your life. The plagues of God. You will go but injured and wounded. And some of you will go and die. I'm telling you this. Be careful. This place is not for witchcraft. This place is not for witchcraft. It's for Jesus. Everybody say, Jesus, this is your place. Say it again. Thank you. Yes. Deep things are going on. And he said, in verse 10. So I went in and saw, and behold, every form of creeping things and abominable beasts and all the idols of the house of Israel portrayed upon the wall run about. And there stood before them 70 men of the ancients of the house of Israel. And in the midst of them stood Jezaniah, the son of Shaphan, with every man his censer in his hand, and a thick cloud of incense went out. Jezaniah, the son of Shephan, should be the priest. Is now the one leading occultism. His name came out. Your name will come out. Your name will come out. God is the one giving the names out. And when he has given it, call it. That's when names have been called. See one here called. The prophet called him. I saw him. I, I, I saw him, the priest. I saw him among them. He called his name. It's written in scripture. Where you say we should not call the names of those people. The Lord said we should call it. I said the Lord said we should call it. And we are calling those names. Even with the calling of the names. Are you seeing them bordering? These people have gone far. Are you seeing their members bordering? Hell is determined for them. Hell. It's determined for them. Cry for them. Pray for them. And let them come out from the spell. And the bewitchment of those people over their lives. That is what we are saying. Yes. Now. Then say he unto me. Son of man. Hast thou seen what the ancients. The old men. The elders of the house of Israel. Do in the dark. Every man in the chambers of his imagery. For they say, the Lord said us not. The Lord had forsaken the earth. He said unto me, turn thee yet again, and thou shalt see greater abominations that do them, that they do. Then he brought me to the door of the gate of the Lord's house, which was toward the north. And behold, there sat women. These were marine women. Marine. He said, you will see greater than what? Jezinea, the son of Shaphat, the priest is doing. Marine, women have come. We, let's go to the realm of the women who are higher. Marine. And he said, yeah. And then, he, 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 he saw these people. And he brought me to the door of the gate of the Lord's house, which was toward the north. And behold, there sat women weeping for Tammuz. Then said he unto me, Hast thou seen this, O son of man? Turn thee yet again, and thou shalt see greater abominations than this. Can you see what is going on in the church? Abomination. 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 It's going on. 
to collapse the church and they have succeeded in some of these churches their presidents are witches and wizards their presidents go to receive power to win presidency to win chairmanship over the church and they pay homage to Ayabali somewhere no hope will they accept righteousness will they be asking you to be teaching on, on earrings there that there are people should not wear earrings would they be asking you to allowing you to teach holiness godliness it cannot work because the spirit in them cannot contain so they fight it the fire that's what is going on in the churches Granaba. yes so we know this know this my brother what do you what are the practical demonism in the church quite much many of church founders pastors and leaders wives of leaders workers in the church are into practical demonism they are in the church working for satan yes they, they, they do not know Jesus. They do not know Jesus. One of the things that surprised me, it was in the revelation. In this dream, churches were meeting together. It's as if the churches were going for, a judge, for judgment. The Lord was judging the church, the churches. So they were in group. They were in group. And holiness movement was in another group. Then one of our members came down from abroad and was locating a church where she would belong. Then somebody met her in the dream and said, move to Holy. Oh, you look at Holiness movement there. He said, no, I'm not going there. But it, that's our movement. That, you belong to Holiness movement. He said, uh, I don't belong there. I was just, we have our own business. We came there for business. Uh-uh. Pastor Rika is there teaching sound doctrine to prepare you for the examination, for the uh, judgment that is coming. He said, ah, listen, when we were there, we were not hearing those things. We can be saying, amen, amen, but we were not hearing them. Our hearts are not to hear them. Our hearts are not to do them. We're not prepared to do them. We came there on another mission. So that is not the group I am go- I'm looking for. I'm looking for my group. I'm looking for where my people are. I'm telling you what is going on. Yes, yeah, suffer them to grow up together until the time of harvest. When the time of harvest comes, I will handle them. I will get the ties first. I will remove them first. That's what the word of God is saying. They do not know the Lord. They do not know the Father God. Yes, the person they know is Satan. They are made to desire satanic power. They desire satanic presence. They desire satanic rewards. All these are opposed to God and his righteousness. The Bible calls them, yeah, of your father, the devil. Paul came across one of them by Jesus in Acts chapter 13, verse 6 to verse 10. By Jesus. They are against God. Verse 6, Acts chapter 13. And when they had gone through the isle unto Paphos, they found a certain sorcerer, a false prophet, a Jew, whose name was Bar Jesus, which was with a deputy of the country, Sergius Paulus, a prudent man, who called for Barnabas and Saul and desired to hear the word of God. But Elemas, the sorcerer, for so is his name by interpretation, which stood them, seeking to turn away the deputy from the faith. That is their war. They are here to withstand. They are here to resist. Hey, they are here to withstand. Withstand the work we are doing. We will call for an altar call. Come and give your life to Christ. Some of them say, yes, it's time to get nearer the pastor. Then I can shoot. Come and shoot. Then you'll know that power past power. Amen. Amen. Power past power. I, yes. The Lord shot my revelation. At the gate of my house, at the door there, 
Somebody came to plant a charm. Then another one said, ah, you're coming to plant a charm. Don't you see many charms planted there? Are you not seeing? <laughs> you want to? They are not prospering. They are not working. It, they have been planted for long time. <laughs> it's not working. You want to plant your own? <laughs> okay. Go and plant if you think it will work. These people, I don't know where they are from. Their power, where their power is coming from. It's coming from heaven. It's coming from heaven. I say it's coming from heaven. The Bible says no weapon formed against it shall prosper. That is the eternal world. That world is settled in heaven. So there's no condition. There's no way, no poison, nothing. Until the victory is won. Until the victory is won. Until the rapture comes. Until you go to heaven, you yourself, by the righteousness of God. That's what we're saying. That's the power walking in the church among the righteous. Among the righteous. Yes. So that is what is going on. Many things. Then Paul now spoke to the man that was blocking the, the, the Sergius Paulus from hearing the gospel. Paul said in verse, from verse 9 and 10, Then Saul, who is also called Paul, filled with the Holy Ghost, and set his eyes upon him, and said, Oh, full of all subtlety, and all mischief. You see these people. Full of all subtlety. Cunning wisdom. Cunning wisdom. And all mischief. Evil. They are full of evil. Thou child of the devil, the children of Satan, that are resisting the word of God, resisting the men of God, resisting the women of God. Hey, listen. My wife told me a story this morning. Um, let me say it all. A woman that came from Aquaibum just came to greet her. Hey, my daughter, my daughter, her body started paining her. I had to pray for her to free her before you see her walking freely. I'm talking the power of God. I'm, these people are ready to resist. These people are ready to do evil. That's why we must stand. Are you there? We must stand to get these people got, get them out from the way of God. Because whichever type of human beings you are, that God created you, you're giving your glory to another creature. You are like the fallen angels that God God sits upon his throne and you are hearing Lucifer politicizing you. God created you. You are giving your own power to Satan and say you will fight God. You will not succeed. I say you will not succeed. Everything you are doing will collapse. Will collapse. Will be broken down. The Lord pick you one by one. May the Lord pick you up one by one. May the Lord pick you up one by one. Hey, when we came here, I mean, as the conference started, quickly, revelation came that some two women were already working on initiating people. Hey, here, I said, let's come together for prayer. Let's declare prayer. The prayer we prayed that Sunday, the last Sunday, was prayer because of heavenly information to ensure we destroy satanic work. We terminate satanic work to make you people free. Nobody shall be initiated in this place. In Jesus' name! Yes, let's go forward and tell you these dangerous things that these people are doing dangerous the following are some of the witchcrafts and demonism in the church many church founders seek demonic power and fake gifts to run the church they go to Ghana they go to Djibouti they, they go to India they go to various places to receive power to wash their face so that they can be seen in the pants of women to do everything so they can be doing miracles. He said, ah, this man. In fact, immediately he saw me. He's telling me that I have an uncle. My uncle is like this. My uncle, yeah, you're running after them. You don't know that that's a bait to catch you for Satan. To catch you. 
and many of you have been caught already is the mercy of god that brought you here so that you can be set free get ready all those bondage of your life shall be cut into pieces and you will be free but don't go back to them anymore don't go back there don't go back there that's the world yes they look for demonic power they build their church on human beings they lay altar one of these big churches as it was said that as they build the church in the night they dismiss everybody that was there and then the midnight top ministers came there and were digging on the altar and were burying things there. I'm telling you, the church has gone far and they're jumping up and down. You think they're true children of God. You, too, you think they're true ministers of God. You're selling your soul to them and they're eating and getting fat, increasing the, the number of possessions. They have. So be very careful. So you see, they build their churches on, on corruption, on, on pollution, on human beings. They hang things in the doors of the churches. They anoint the chairs with satanism. Everything is satanically prepared. So that when you come in there, it's difficult for you to escape. When you stray, for the soul that strayed from the way of understanding, shall abide in the region of the dead. You live righteousness and you're running to evil. And they've offended me. Oh, they have, you will stray to them. You may not come back. You abide in the region of the dead. That's what the word of God is telling us. Many church buildings, altars, doors, and seats are decorated by demonic substances. Oil and human sacrifice to give room to Satan to operate and control the church. That's what they're doing now. Many of them. Many. Very few churches have, have escaped from satanism. Very few. Very few escaped from satanism. Yes, there was a man, an author. He was telling me this in Inugu, in Crusade. He said, the ministers came to me. That's, that's what the man is saying. I said, you are suffering. See, you are writing books and they even you are suffering to get money. Go to the devil and collect power to work for God. You know, devil has the power, but the service is for God. Your books you are writing, you are writing for God. Go to Satan, collect power, and then serve God with it. They are cheating Satan. <laughs> they want to cheat Satan. The Satan give us power. And then they will go and serve God. God has no power. You mean God has no power? Once has God spoken and twice have I had this. Tell me the rest. Tell me. Power belongs unto God. And you're going to Satan. And say you're going to get power from Satan. To come and serve God. Is God an idol? Is God, was God created by Satan? Why are you disdaining God? Why are you reproaching the, the Almighty? You will face it. That's it. That's what they do. That's what they do. Yes. That is what they do. They do many things. They do many things. And they promote faith in objects, material things, substances. They promote because that is how you can be laid away from Jesus. Oh, foolish Galatians. Who has bewitched you to turn your faith from Jesus onto substances? Who bewitched you? They raise up a stick as everybody look at this stick and be praying onto this stick. And they remove your faith from Jesus. You are not praying to a stick. I say, I give you two minutes to be done, to be to damn your soul. I want to give you two minutes to backslide. I want to give you two minutes to remove your name from the book of life. I want to corrupt this church because I'm seeing the godliness of a few are disturbing my surrendering this church to Satan. Therefore, I'm removing your faith from Jesus. I say, I'm resting up this stick. Just be looking at it. Just two minutes. Be praying to it. Say all you are looking for. 
just to hypnotize your faith. Get it out of God to a substance. Make you idol worshippers in two minutes. A house built so mighty, so great. Bring a caterpillar and give it a few minutes. You pull it down. It took time to build it. It took time to build your faith. It took time to profess Christianity. It took time and sacrifice. It took fasting and prayer, attending conferences. It took reading the Bible. It took many revelations of God. But here is somebody raising up a stick for two minutes to collapse your faith. Turn it from Jesus to substances. And now you're moving with anointing oil. It is your, your healer now. Not Jesus anymore. You're carrying sand. You're carrying handkerchief. Handkerchiefs are in your boxes now. You keep them there very neatly. Idol worshippers. You are idol worshippers. You are worshipping idol. You, the name of your own idol is handkerchief. And some of you, you are worshipping apron. You, you believe in apron. Your faith has left Jesus to a rag. Your faith left Jesus. You are believing in a rag. That this one has the power. That yes, because you are a sinner. You are evil. You don't want to repent of your sins. Because the way of the Lord is too costly. In the way of the Lord, you have to search yourself. The way of the Lord, you have to examine yourself. You have to pray. You have to fast to receive the grace of God. To receive power from God. They say it's too long. It's too long. Handkerchief. Just pick it. Hey, touch your head. Head and go. Head and go. Head that should go from a thief. Head that should go from an adulterer. Head that should go from a liar who refuses to repent. You have changed the gospel of Christ. They have changed it for you. They have changed the gospel of Christ for you. You are not looking to Jesus anymore. Therefore, righteousness has died in your life. You are not looking for Jesus anymore. Do repentance. After you fought with your husband, you brought anointing oil and are sprinkling it. I said, I'm cleaning this room from demons. Which demons? The demon that made you fight your husband? You are cleaning demons from this, from this house. Bewitched people. May God deliver you. That's why you're here for cleansing. You're here for cleansing. You're here for true righteousness. You're here for true holiness. You're here for heaven. Heaven. That's why you're here. That's why you're here. So that you can go to this heaven. They've bewitched you. They've corrupted your life. They've corrupted your righteousness. They've destroyed your righteousness. Because they've torn your faith from Jesus. Oh foolish Galatians. I'm traveling in pain, in pain again. That I might give back to you. That for in Jesus by restoration. I'm crying again. I'm pleading again. To restore you. To restore you back to Jesus. That's what the Lord is doing now. That's what the Lord is doing now. To recover you back to the faith. To recover you back so that your name can enter again into the book of life. Everybody cry, Lord have mercy upon me. That's what they're doing. That's what they're doing. They are practically initiating people. Now, we are praying, mourning for over our children. We leave them into the hands of children teachers. Who are these children teachers? Are they true people? Or pretenders in the church that have got an opportunity to, uh, to initiate innocent children? Initiate innocent children. Who are they? What about the other children among them that are already initiated and are sent here as agents? That's why we must pray. Pray. Lord, stand up and help. Stand up. The people are going into witchcraft. <sighs> if it were like, if it were my soul, that this ministry were my own, I would have said I came late. Because I came when Satan had initiated so many people into witchcraft. I was not early to have stopped this, to have fought this. 
I came late. If the ministry was mine, but since it is God's own, God is not late. God is not late. There is still hope. I said there is still hope. We are only trusting in God. Who says there is still hope? That we can still find righteous people. We can still find righteous women. We can still find righteous leaders. We can still find righteous coordinators. Righteous coordinators' wives, pastors' wives. We can still find. It is God that is giving me hope. Otherwise, I say, I would have said I came late. That I came after everything has spoiled. But God says there's still hope. Everybody say there's still hope. I say, say there's still hope. The devil has done great damage in the churches of Christ. He has done great damage. He walked on these children, initiated them when they were young. And they grew up as children of leaders, children of pastors. And they have taken over pastoral life. They are now the wives of leaders. They are now the wives of pastors. But they belong to the other side. So life is not easy. Life is difficult. It's only God that will show us how to move. It's only God that will direct us the way to take. It's only God. It's only God. It's only God. Our trust is in God alone. Our trust is in God alone. Only him shall make a way. Only him shall show us the way that we'll be able to make our path unto eternal life. That we'll be able to carry some people to eternal life. Otherwise the devil has done greatly in the church. Devil has done it greatly in the church. It's not a matter of play. He, had, he bewitched the ministers. They never bothered. They didn't bother about the devil. They didn't bother. They, 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 they themselves loved him. They love to serve him. They have no power to contend with him. So they surrender. They surrender because they have no power. Like nations, villages, cities, towns surrendering to Islam in those days of jihad. No power. No power to withstand. So they became Muslims to their doom. They became Muslims to their perdition. They became Muslims to their collapse because no power. No power could deliver them. So that's why witchcraft just have its own way in the churches. In churches in the village. Churches in the city. Churches in the town. Everywhere they take over to the doom of the churches of Christ. To the doom of the churches of Christ. Nobody could stand. Nobody had the power, the power to withstand them. To fight them. To fight them. To bind them. To capture them. To break their power. And lose the church. But thank God the Lord said there is hope. Something will start here. We have started already. This church must come out from the hand of Satan. Mean, be ready. You are coming out of the hand of Satan. The Lord is recovering all. David was not there. David was not there. When the Amalekites came into his city and captured the people and carried them away, plus David's wives, carried them away captive, and David returned and saw that the, the, the city had been burned with fire. David cried. Everybody cried. No strength in them anymore. And the people picked up stones to stone David. David went to the Lord. Shall I pursue these people? Is it possible? Have they gone very far? Can I pursue them? The Lord said, pursue them. Will I overtake them? Thou shall overtake them. Will I recover? Thou shall surely recover all. There's hope. <laughs> There's hope. There's hope. Power is working in this ministry. As we are expanding to other churches, other cities, and bringing Christianity together, this power will move. Power will move. All captivity of the devil. Those people in that captive, we shall recover them. We shall recover them. Witches and wizards that say they're not repenting. Your days are coming. You will line up here and be confessing one by one publicly. The power of the Lord will do it. 
The power of the Lord will do it. The dream of Jesus will do it. Angels will arrange it. It shall come to pass. I say it shall come to pass. You will see witches and wizards. And some of them are great men and women in the church. They will be lining up. I want this my time. Pastor, give me my time to confess. Pastor, I want to confess my own. Pastor, uh, marine people shall be confessing. And you'll be saying, eh, 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 eh. That time is coming. I said, that time is coming. The power of God will achieve it. Power of God will achieve it. Power of God will lose you from the power of darkness. Will lose some better yours. All your shame shall disappear. All authorities that are keeping you, authorities of the water, authorities of the mountain, authorities of the land, they shall all be melted and you will be coming out. I say you are coming out. Your days are coming. Be keeping quiet and say, nah, nobody will confess. You are going to confess. I say you will do it. God will touch you, break through you. You start confessing. Hey. A new thing is happening. Everybody say, new Christianity arising. Maybe I should rather say, renewed Christianity arising. <laughs> that is it. Now, you pretend. You pretend that you are a prayer warrior. You pretend that you are a prayer expert. You pretend that you are a deliverance minister. You pretend every kind of pretenses and do whatever you want to do. We went to Potakot. One of the ladies that arrested Potakot, Potakot Church, the Lord revealed her, and she is an ancient in holiness prayer warrior. All, she is, in fact, she's a national prayer warrior. If we say all prayers will come, you will see her coming in. It's coming by a weak, terrible one that arrested Potakot. Arrested, arrested the place. And when we were there, Jesus said, in fact, in Revelation, Jesus went to her. What are you doing here? I gave you time to repent. You rejected it. Now get out of this church. Get out. Jesus finished dealing with him. We saw it in the Revelation. The Lord now brought it to say, go and send her out. I declared her. I said, come, stand here. Yeah, you stand up. You are a witch. And you can't be in this movement anymore. We're getting you out. Jesus Christ, the one that met, contended with you, is sending you out. She said, eh, eh, I don't understand what you want. don't understand. Get out from this place. I said, don't understand. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, glory. The power of God, the power of God will cleanse the church. If it was done to that woman, it will be done to you. Whatever is your name. Don't say you're hiding. It's just that your time has not come. Your time has not come. You want to fight the church of Christ? You want to fight the church? You want to weaken the church? You want to impoverish the church? You want to initiate people, deceive people, confuse original people, recipher their faith? Be, just by your wisdom and witchcraft. <laughs> yeah, be doing those things until your time comes. Your judgment will overtake you. Judgment will overtake you. Hallelujah. The Lord God of many potent rain. Yeah, they poison the food. Many of them will want to walk in the kitchen. We are checking the kitchen very well now. To ensure strange characters will never go to kitchen. They will want to go to kitchen where they will cook food. Because we want to see where the strength of these people lie. You are poisoning it. What has it done to these people? Are you not blessed? Are you not blessed? No poison shall work. The Bible says the food is sanctified by prayer. And by thanksgiving. That is what they do. They want to poison people. They are looking for people who are committed and want to marry them. Committed people to befriend them. Committed people to do business with them. And the, you see them, they are members of the church. Very zealous. They are not original. Transformed people. They are transformers. 
They are not original. Transformers, not original. As the devil transformed to an angel of life, they transformed to children of righteousness. They tra- transformed to ministers of righteousness. And I'm making friends. Pray very well for your friends. Pray very well before you marry. Pray and pray. Ask God over. And let it be proved well, well. Because the devil has cast down many wounded. Many mighty men have been pulled down by her. Therefore, be very careful. Yes, they confront newcomers to the church to discourage them. They go after the newcomers to discourage them. Ah, hurry more. Ah, you're wasting your time. Go to these other churches. Otherwise, your gifts will die. In fact, very soon they will say you are a witch. And they, they, they use various, including satanic power, to keep newcomers from coming. We sent out a woman also in, in, in the Nyanya zone. Because she was a member of a unit. But she was blocking the growth of that unit. The Lord revealed her. Were you here when the Lord revealed her? Raise up your hand. Let the people know you were here. Where, where are the people? Okay. Uh, yes. The Lord revealed her. And she had keys of churches she has closed down. She has closed down many churches. That's, what, that's her assignment in the demonic kingdom. That's her assignment. To move from church to church, be a member of a church, close it down, move forward. Close it down, move forward. With demonism. Until she came to a church, she cannot close down. Yeah, the God of this church that sees, more than, sees with eyes, more than the eyes of the eagle, picked her up and said, not here. Get out from this place. And she was gone. God. So be careful. You will be picked. You will be picked. Yeah. I say you will be picked. Yeah. It's just the God of heaven that is patient with you. God that is patient with you. When your time is up, He blows the whistle and says, The time of this one is up. And when that time is up, you will be arrested. Hey. General, one of these generals in the country, when they. They, 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 they accused him to be involved in a coup. Who were the people torturing him? They were lower rank. R- lower rank didn't respect general again. And they handled this man terribly. R- lower rank. So I am saying how great you are. How great! When your time comes, your greatness will be lost. Your preciousness shall be lost. People shall not see your preciousness anymore. Your goodness shall be lost. People shall not see your goodness anymore. Because you refuse to confess. The Lord gave you time to repent. The Lord opened all ways for you to repent. And you refused. So that's what they're doing. They attack the finances of the church. They attack the finances of the members. They look for those people who are doing well and attack them. So that the church should not get money and move forward. It takes prayer that we're moving forward in righteousness. It takes prayer that we're not telling lies, we're not cheating, and we're getting money to move forward is by prayer. Otherwise, the forces of evil are blocking it. The forces of evil are blocking it. There was one time, I think about two years ago, the Lord gave a revelation, about two years or last year, that these forces have blocked finances. Of that people are no more paying tithes. Money was not coming in. This, uh, what happened? What, they, there was a standstill. The Lord gave a signal. They have blocked the way. Raise up prayer for me. I will open the way. You know, God works with prayer. And we began to pray. As we began to pray, the revelation showed how this one will come to me. Ah, I have tithes. What, uh, what, what about I've never paid the tithe? Ah, this one. Ah, some, some things that bound them, got broken. Ah, I've not given this money. What happened? What happened? Money started coming in. Money started coming in. Because the enemies don't want progress. I'm revealing this thing so that you can succeed. As you go to your churches, succeed. Succeed. By fighting the forces of darkness. Fire. That's what I'm saying. Fire. They hinder marriage. They hinder childbearing. They hinder peaceful marital family, peaceful marital relationship. They hinder prosperity of homes, 
prosperity of individuals they do everything to block the way that's why they're here that's why they go to churches transformers liar hypocrites that is what they do now united battle churches church the church of christ are you there are you there we are going back to the days of the Himaya. Battle. We must build this wall. I say we must build this wall. We must complete this wall. All those Sambalak and Tobias, the Horonai, all those people, we are, we are going to fish them. And this work shall be finished. This revival must come back to the days of Yes, Hezekiah. The Bible tells us that Hezekiah in chapter 4, verse 13 to 23. Nehemiah chapter 4, verse 13 to 23. The Bible tells us battle ready. Battle ready. United battle. We're fighting it together. We're fighting it together. Yes. Therefore, because of attacks in every place. In verse 12, let's start from verse 12. And it came to pass that when the Jews which dwell by, the, by them came, they said unto us ten times, from all places when ye shall return unto us, they will be upon you. Therefore, I, therefore said I in the lower places behind the wall and on the higher places, I even said the people after their families, with their swords, their spears, and their bows. Get them ready for battle. Get them ready for battle. That's why I'm preparing you. Because they enter. Battles are strong. Demons have risen up to ensure they close the gate of heaven to people. That the coming of the Lord will not bring up anyone. Rapture will not get people to rapture up. Therefore, we are preparing you. Be battle conscious. Be battle conscious. Be battle conscious. And I looked and rose up and said unto the nobles and to the rulers and to the rest of the people, be not ye afraid of them. Remember the Lord, which is great and terrible, and fight for your brethren, your sons and your daughters, your wives and your houses, Rise up and fall for your sons and your daughters that are, in, that are carrying them into initiation. Rise up and fall. The devil wants to close the door for them that they will not make heaven, that their children will not go to heaven. He has set people in the schools to un, uh, initiate your children. He has set people in the society, children of pastors. The devil has hired people to initiate them into witchcraft so that the battle should start at home. Battle will be, will be between you and your child. The battle of eternal life. Because the, he will be for the devil. He's giving information to the devil. He's collecting power from the devil to affect that family. Rise up and be ready to fight. Devil is carrying the people away. Devil is carrying the people away. Our members, our churches, our children in the church, in the children's church, initiation. The devil is initiating them right in our eyes, right under our feet. Is, is destroying the Christianity of tomorrow so that we will have witches and wizards. We will have witches and wizards. Rise up and make sure you battle. Nehemiah, protect all the people. Fight for your wives. Fight for your children. Fight for your daughter. Fight for your eternal life. Fight for your eternal life. Be serious about it. Be serious with witches and wizards. Be serious with my kingdom. Be serious with occultic men in the church. Collapse their kingdom. Collapse their power. Set fire upon it. Break it down. Bash them on their feet. Clear them out of the church. That there will be righteousness in the church. There will be deliverance in the church. There will be breakthrough in the church. That the rapture will come. And we will go to heaven. I'm saying, fight. That's what in the Himalaya told the people. You're casual. You're not praying. You're not serious. We tell you to stand up and pray. You're muttering words because you have been so. You're so bound. You're bewitched by these people. Break those things off. 
clear yourself from those things go before the Lord save your soul save other people for purpose of heaven it's hard you're fighting people you don't know them but fight with the weapons of the Lord yes that is what he said and it came to pass when our enemies heard that it was known unto us and God had brought their counsel to naught that we return all of us to the world, everyone unto his work. And it came to pass from that time forth that the half of my servants wrought in the work, and the other half of them held both the spears, the shields. They held both the spears, the shields, and the bows, and the habergeons, and the rulers were behind all the house of Judah. They would build it on the wall. And they that bear burdens with those that loaded, everyone with one of his hands wrought in the wall. And with the other hand held a weapon for the builders. Everyone had his sword guided by his side. And so built it. And he that sounded the trumpet was by me. And I said unto the nobles, and to the rulers, and to the race of the people. The work is great and large, and we are separated upon the world, one far from another. In what place, therefore, you hear the sound of the trumpet. Resort ye thither unto us. Our God shall fight for us. Everybody say it. Say it. Jesus Christ is here with us as a mighty warrior. Jesus Christ is here with us, the captain of our salvation. He's dead on the cross and not being vain. Satan has no power to render the death of Jesus Christ. Vanity. There must be people that must make it to heaven. I am there. Are you there? Are you there? That's why we will fight. We will battle with the forces of darkness. With Satan, with agents of the devil, we we'll handle them. Wait that they're among us as leaders. We're going to get them. We're going to get them. Or saints here, we'll get them. Among the choir, we're going to get them. Among the pastor's wife, we will get them. We're going to handle it. We're going to break through them. We're going to set everybody free. We'll clear the way. We will break through. Jesus! Go! Oh, Jesus! Break through. Terminate. Scatter them. Remove them. Break them off. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, they die. Clear them out of the way. This gospel of the kingdom shall succeed. We shall carry people to heaven. Witches and wizards, marine people, occultic people, satanic people. We march you on the feet. Repent. Repent. Repent and join us. Otherwise, danger is on your way. Who told you to come to this church? Who told you to join holiness movement? The man that sent you, go and tell him he sent you to danger. Go and tell him he sent you to danger. He sent you to a dangerous place that you will soon be dying. Go and tell him and you run away from here. Run away. Otherwise, join us. Denounce him and join us. It shall not be well with you here. It shall not be well with you here. Yes, day and night angels will handle you. Amen. That is the work of God. Yeah. Yeah. The church in our day must walk like the days of Nehemiah. When the people walked with the consciousness of enemy, enemy presence and attacks. This is the way the battle will be won. He made the people aware of their state and armed them for the battle. He showed them that they had a common enemy, whichever direction they were and should be ready at once, whenever and wherever they were called for battle. Church leaders, workers and members who are the true children of God must be strong 
for the battle and be willing and prepared to win over demonism and witchcraft in the church to ensure our eternal life and ensure the eternal life of others. Yes, in the book of Second Psalm, Second Samuel rather, chapter 10, verse 9. Second Samuel chapter 10, verse 9 to verse 19. Let's listen to Joab there when enemies came against them. Second Samuel chapter 10, verse 9 to 19. The Bible tells us there, saying, When Joab saw that the front of the battle was against him before and behind, he chose of all the choice men of Israel and put them in array against the Syrians and the rest of the people. He delivered them into the hand of Abishai, his brother, that he might put them in array against the children of Ammon. And he said, if the Syrians be too strong for me, then thou shalt help me. But if the children of Ammon be too strong for thee, then I will come and help thee. Be of good courage and let us play the mean for our people and for the cities of our God. And the Lord do that which seemed good unto him. Yes, the battle was great in the front and behind. The people of Gada, we must swallow you. We must swallow you. Joab, when, what did Joab do? He, he separated the armies. He gave part of it to Abishai. Abishai, go and face those ones there. I'm going to face these people here. Yes, be strong and courageous. Let us play these people. Let us play them for our people and for the cities of our God. Let's play them. I encourage you leaders. Don't be afraid of witches and wizards. Don't be afraid of marine kingdom. Don't be afraid of occultic men. Let's play them off for Jesus. Let's walk. Rise up in the church. Whatever church you belong to. And you over there. Join hands with us. We will join hands with you. That the ministry God has given to you. Will not perish. That you don't lose your life by witchcraft by evil forces let's play them the lord will be with us the lord will help us we will do it the name of jesus the word of god our prayer and fasting god will hear it god will hear it god will hear it and collapse the kingdom of darkness he will do it stand strong over there I stand strong here. You stand strong there. You stand strong there. Let's battle against these witches and wizards. Let's battle against these evil forces. We will cry them. 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 We will cry them for the cities of our God. For the people. So that they can go to heaven. So that sinners can be converted. They have blocked the way for sinners. They have blocked the way. So that sinners cannot come to church. They have blocked even the members. So they cannot hear the word. They're not hearing. They're not understanding. You preach, they're going to do something. They're doing it because they've been blocked. But we're going to set everyone free as we fight. Let's fight. Let's fight. Be strong in the Lord and in the power of His mind. Put on the whole armor of God. Yes, that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Put on the armor of God because we wrestle not against flesh and blood. They are not the people we are seeing. It's power behind them. Yes, not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Yes, wherefore, put on the whole armor that ye may be able to stand, having done all to stand. Having done all to stand. Stand therefore. Yes, having your loins guide about with the breastplate of righteousness. And having upon, having upon you the helmets of salvation. And, the, uh, yes, and taking the, the shield of faith. Above all, taking the sword of the spirit. The word of God. That will, and praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit. Watching therefore in prayer for all saints. And pray for me also. Pray for me also. That is making this noise. That the enemy will not laugh at you tomorrow. 
and say, you gathered under a man that met noise. Where is he now? He shall never be hurt in the history of the world. Hallelujah. He shall never be hurt in the history of the world. That witches and wizards that killed Pastor Paul Ricker. It will not happen. I say it will not happen. Oh Lord, hear this. Honor your name. God, hear this. All of them in the world. You will give them information. Touch not my anointed. And do my prophets no harm. Hallelujah. Am I having people that are ready to fight? To deliver their lives and deliver the people of God. So that they too can go to heaven. They have quenched the power of the gospel in many quarters. They are thinking here also. Let's start it here. Anyone that has come here, your presence in this conference is not to receive salvation. It's not to receive blessing, but to initiate, to do evil, to wild satanic evil. We're starting with you. For judgment must begin at the house. I say judgment will begin here now. Hey, my brother, put on the hollow armor of God. Behold, I give unto you power to tread upon serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. Nothing shall by enemies hurt you. Yes, the Lord says, in righteousness shalt thou be established. Thou shalt be far from oppression, for thou shalt not fear. And from terror it shall not come near thee. I have created the smith that bloweth the cause. Yes, I have made the waste to destroy, but no weapon formed against thee shall prosper. No weapon formed against thee shall prosper. I'm talking to the church now. Are you there? Be waving that hand. I said, No weapon. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. Every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment, thou shalt condemn. You are rising up to condemn. You are rising up. Condemn them in your life. Condemn them in your family. Condemn them in your children. Condemn them everywhere. Condemn them in the church. Condemn them in the city. Condemn them in the unit. Condemn them in the chapter. Power has come down. Power has come down. Power has come down. Power has come down. Move. 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 Pull down now. Put them down. Put them down. Put them down. The power has come. 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 The power of the Lord. Oh Lord, let your angels move. Ah, oh Lord, oh Lord, satanic power be dissolved. Judgment upon the satanic agents. Judgment upon the satanic agents. Judgment upon the satanic agents. Let this come be hot. Let this come be hot. Let heaven come down. Let angels come down. Let angels come down. Oh Lord, send down angel Michael. Terminate them. Terminate them. Terminate the devil. Terminate the devil. Bind him. 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 Destroy them. Break their wounds. Break their wounds. Oh Lord, afflict them. 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 The power of God. The power of God. The power of God. The power of God. Power is moving. 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 Yes. 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 Channel the power. Channel it. Channel it. Channel it. Channel it. To the right direction. Let it destroy. Let it destroy. All the darkness of this life. The darkness of the devil. All of burn them down. God collapse them. Burn them down. Jesus burn them down. My God, burn them down. Terminate it. Terminate it. Terminate it. Terminate it. Terminate it. Terminate it. Oh Lord, let your angels walk. Let your angels walk. Let your angels walk. Let your angels walk. Oh Lord, for Jesus' sake. For the salvation of the Lord. The salvation of the Lord. The salvation of the Lord. The salvation. 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 Deliver. 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 Deliver.
Give your life to Jesus. 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 Reject demonism. Reject satanism. Reject satanism. Give your life to Jesus. Give your life to Jesus. Reject satanism. Reject demonism. Reject. Reject. Reject them. Reject them. Reject them. Reject them. Reject them. Reject them. Reject the devil. Reject the devil. Reject the devil. Reject the devil. Refuse the devil. Refuse the devil. Refuse him. Refuse him. Refuse him. Refuse him. Come out from 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 him. Be for God. 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 Be for Jesus. 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 For Jesus. For Jesus. You are for Jesus. You are for Jesus. You are not for Satan. 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 Repent. 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 Give your life to Jesus. Give your life to Jesus. Oh. Thank you, Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Don't close your mouth. Don't close your mouth. Open your mouth and pray. Let me see your mouth open. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Open your mouth and pray. Yeah, yeah, ba, 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 ba. Open your life. The power of God. 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 The power of God is moving. 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 Ba everywhere. Ba everywhere. Ba everywhere. Destruction of demonism. Destruction of demonism. Destruction of demonism. Destruction, destruction, destruction. Hey, 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 glory. Jesus, 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 Jesus. He resurrected. You resurrected. You resurrected. You resurrected. You are not a man. You are gone. You are gone. Let them be slain. Let your enemies be slain. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name we pray. Now, those who are witches and wizards that want to repent, it is your time. We want to help you. We want to help you. Everybody close your eyes. Everybody close your eyes. You are a witch. You are a wizard. Raise up your hand. We want to help you. Raise up the hand. The Lord wants to help you. Yes. With it. Okay, I'm seeing that hand over there. Yeah, raise up your hand. You are in witchcraft. You are in marine kingdom. The Lord wants to help you. Let me see your hand wherever you are. The Lord wants to help you. Okay, okay. Now, in Jesus' name, we, we are going to pray. Our brothers and sisters who are willing to repent, 
We are going to command that repentance will come on them. Tell God never to give them rest until they come to confess. Until they come to confess. They are willing, but they are afraid. Destroy that fear. Are you hearing me? Remove the clock. Whatever Satan has done to block them. That prince, we are going to kill that prince that is blocking them. To give way to these children to come to Christ. Pharaoh had to die. Because the children of Israel must be set free. That person in the water. That person that is standing to block them. And say I'm queen of the coast. Set them free. Open their door. Open their door. Open their door. Let them be delivered. Let them come out. Let them come out. Let them come out. Let them come out. Go! Go! Loose them. Loose them. Loose them. Loose them. Let them come out. Come out for Christ. Come out for Christ. Come out for Christ. Oh Lord, release your power. Loose them. Loose them. Loose them. Set them free. Set them free. Burn through them like fire. Burn through them like fire. They will not rest. Until they confess, 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 they will not rest. Until they confess. Power of the Lord, let the power of the Lord, let the power of the Lord renew you, let the power of the Lord renew your life and pray to deliver your sisters, pray to deliver your brothers, pray to deliver your wives, pray to deliver your husbands, pray to deliver your children. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You manifest your glory. 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 Serve the people. 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 Jesus. Jesus. Serve the people. Serve the people. Manifest your glory. Manifest your glory. Manifest your glory. Break the yokes and serve them. Break the yokes and serve them. Jesus. Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus.
Hey! Power from above. There is power from above. Power from above. There is power from above. I believe and receive power from above. I believe and receive power from above. Power from the Lord. Power from the Lord, power from the Lord, there is power from the Lord. You believe and receive power from the Lord. You believe and receive power from the Lord. Power from Jesus, there is power from Jesus. Power from Jesus, there is power from Jesus. You believe, you receive power from Jesus. You believe and receive power from Jesus. I say power from the Lord, there is power from the Lord. Power from the Lord, there is power from the Lord. I believe and receive power from the Lord. I believe and receive power from the Lord. Power from above. There is power from above. Power from above. There is power from above. I believe and receive power from above. I believe and receive power from my Lord. Power from the Lord. Receive power from the Lord. Power from the Lord. Receive power from Jesus. You believe and receive power from Jesus. You believe and receive power from Jesus. Power from the Lord, power from the Lord, power from Jesus, there is power from the Lord, you believe and receive power from Jesus, you believe and receive power from Jesus, power from the Lord, power from the Lord, power from the Lord. There is power from the Lord. You believe and receive power from the Lord. You believe and receive power from the Lord. Breathe it. Power from the Lord. Receive power from the Lord. Power from Jesus. Receive power from Jesus. And you believe and receive power from Jesus you believe and receive power from the Lord power from Jesus power from Jesus power from Jesus power from the Lord you believe and receive power from Jesus you believe and receive Power from the Lord. Receive power from the Lord. Power from the Lord. Power from the Lord. Power from the Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. <laughs> I give unto you power. To trade upon serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. Nothing shall by enemies hurt you. That power is coming on you now. Raise up your hand unto the Lord. Power. The power to overcome witches and wizards. To destroy whatever plague of the devil you are passing through. Whatever bewitchment in your life. Whichever way they have confused you. Whichever way they have hypnotized you, whichever way they have put you into darkness, come, you're coming out of it. Power is breaking it. And power will be given to you to destroy the work of darkness. 
yes, yes. Ah, Almighty Father, oh God, pour the power upon your children. In the name of Jesus. The power to move the devil. Overcome the devil. Destroy the works of the devil. Allah prays upon your children. In the name of Jesus. Allah. Get, make them like hammer. That will break to pieces the rocks. Let them your let your children be burning fire to burn up the stubble. All pretenders, all hypocrites. Oh Lord, give them the power to quench the fire of the devil in the church in Jesus' name. Now, now. You have power. Every bewitchment upon any man here, upon yourself, every confusion that witches and wizards have walked, that you will not prosper, that you will not make progress, that you should be a confused fellow, that you will not go to heaven. Any bewitchment for the prosperity of your life any sickness they're going they're going they're going they're going you'll be loose be loose open your mother pray open your mother pray and be loose and be loose and be loose break everything break them up destroy them destroy them destroy them destroy them destroy them set yourself free set others free set yourself free set others free jesus 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 break it jesus break every bewitchment Every bewitchment in your life, every bewitchment in your life, bewitchment in your family, bewitchment over your wife, bewitchment over your husband, destroy it, 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 destroy it. Oh, oh, Lord, I give unto you power. I give unto you power. I give unto you power. I give unto you power to threat upon serpents. To touch upon serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. No, no, nothing shall my enemies hurt you. Destroy them, break them down, destroy, destroy. Oh, bewitch me, die. I break your power over these people. Destroy, destroy. I lose them, I lose them, I set them free, set them free, set them free, set them free. Glory, God, set them free, set them free, set them free, set them free, set them free. Jesus, 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 glory, 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 power, glory, power, glory, power, glory, power, celebrate the power of the Lord, 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 celebrate it, celebrate it, celebrate it, celebrate it, celebrate, celebrate. Jesus, Jesus. Worship. 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 Worship the Lord. Worship the Lord. Worship the Lord. Ha. We give you glory. Oh Lord, receive the glory. We say thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Just 
to bless and crown it. It is done. Raise up your hands before the Lord. Almighty Father, these multitudes are before you. Let power come from heaven and shut them free. Every work of the devil in their lives. Every work of the devil in their body. Every sickness of the devil. Any work of the devil in their families. Confusing their families. Disunity in their families. Whatever it is, God, destruction should fall from heaven and destroy the works of the devil in their life, in their life, in their family, in Jesus' name we pray. enemy everyone mighty in witchcraft might anyone mighty in marine in marine powers that is looking after your servant to destroy him looking after your daughter to destroy her oh lord look at them they have raised up their hands before the god of heaven now turn your eyes against that man Turn your eyes against that woman. By the power of God, you man, mighty in witchcraft. Mighty you woman, mighty in witchcraft and marine kingdom. I said, fall. Let the power of God strike you down. freedom for you be free I decree freedom for you you the one to come to which come out of witchcraft I declare that today your witchcraft has come to an end in the name of Jesus Healing. I say healing. Healing. Lay hand upon your body. The healing of God is coming upon your life. Oh Lord, move now in healing. God, move now in healing. Remove sicknesses from their bodies. Remove sicknesses from their bodies. Almighty, send your angels. Let your healing angels move. God, take away sicknesses. Take away diseases. From their eyes, from their blood, from their bone, from their intestines, from their womb, from their reproductive system, from their kidneys, from their lungs, from their bladder, everywhere healing, receive healing. Oh God heal them, God heal them, God heal them, Jesus heal them. I come into your world. Do it, do it. Do it. Receive healing. Receive healing. Receive healing. Receive healing. Receive. 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 You're healed. You're healed. You're healed. You're healed. You're healed. You're healed. In Jesus' name, we pray. Yeah, welcome to the presence of God. Welcome to the banqueting table. You will eat and drink. Bah! Your fear must go. That fear must go. I command the spirit of fear. Come out from their life. God has not given them the spirit of fear. But the spirit of power. The spirit of love. And of a sound mind. Therefore I bind the spirit of fear. And I lose you. Be free in Jesus name we pray the message you have just listened to is a production of holiness revival movement worldwide 
Holiness Revival Movement Worldwide is a non-denominational ministry that is given to the propagation of Christ's righteousness and holiness in churches and nations of the world through crusades, revival meetings, production and spread of holiness literature and materials. For other spiritual materials, messages or inquiries, contact us on 0816-902-3948 or 0805-683-4323. You can also reach us through our email address, Holiness Revival Movement at gmail.com God bless you. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever believes in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God sent not His Son into the world to condemn the world but that the world through Him might be saved. Hallelujah. Jesus, I believe in you. You are my Lord and Savior. I believe in you. You are the living Savior.
Jesus, I 